Hi, 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 hi. This is Bernie again, um, again from uh, beautiful San Diego with our latest episode of our Freedom Cast. And uh, this one is about. This one is about network configuration. So, um, <clears throat> what you see here is the host name, Aster, and we have that link here called Network Configuration. By the way, you can show and hide the IP addresses here and <clears throat> click on network configuration what you see here now is the four physical network interfaces that you have in the back of your ansel so you can connect up to four ethernet cables there uh, one gig or 10 gig depending on the model of ansel that you have and you can use that to connect to different networks maybe you have a dmz a demilitarized zone that you want to connect to with a separate NIC or whatever your needs might be. In many cases, you will just use one, as in this case, the BR0. You can't disable it, right? You need at least one, because otherwise you're not connected. So um, what you can do, you can edit the settings here, and um, it could be either a static IP address or it could be DHCP. Um, with DHCP, everything will be automatically assigned by your DHCP server, which might be running on your router. Um, in our case, it's static. So if it's static, you have to provide the IP address and the net mask. Um, if you put a DHCP, you don't have to provide anything. Um, so you could save the configuration. I don't do it in this case. I'll just keep it on static um, as we have, because otherwise I will lose my connection here. Um, what you also see is the network defaults. Um, those are those are central for all all of those NICs. So you need your gateway IP. I have that here, um, and you say the default gateway is going to be accessible through which one of the four physical NICs that you have, and then also you can give your your name servers here. Yeah, so that's basically um, your network settings. So you can um, specify them here, and then with each antlet, you can create virtual NICs, right, and do virtual networking in each of your antlets. Um, I can show you that here. So there's the, I click on this one antlet, and you go to virtual network, and there you can create virtual NICs, and um, you can create VLANs and all these type of things. So you're really flexible on your networking here. Um, yeah, that was it. If you liked that video, don't forget to like it um, with uh, the YouTube like, like button. Um, share it with all your friends on social media. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, happy networking, happy ansling, and talk to you soon.